I'm out in Fairfax. Yeah, Fairfax. Near George Mason, I guess. So here comes this way. It's 10 feet deep. Right now, it run. Right now, it comes right out underneath that front porch. You can see where the, the flags meet. Those aren't my flags, but they're pretty accurate. Uh, right through that first column. Now, the orange work starts well underneath there. <clears throat> and we either have to tunnel underneath there and put that porch in jeopardy, which that porch isn't going to make it. Uh, or reroute it. And so rerouting it is going to take us back to the inside. Because what you'll see here is on the top of the roof is a stack, right? That's a new PVC stack that goes through. I axe the pipe through that stack down in the basement. The pipe comes down in the basement, comes over, and then comes this way. So instead of coming over in the basement, we'll come over outside around the porch. We're not lengthening the sewer any. I mean, I, honestly, if we take it and angle it the right way right out of the porch, we can shorten it a little bit, but not by much. All right, clean up back at the beginning, all the way to the curb. The orange burger ends like right here, but take it to the curb, please. Be careful with the bushes. See if you can replant those so that they survive. Take the mulch out of the way, put it back. There's that tree up there. Take it out of the way and put it back, dude. We don't guarantee the survival of any bushes. Now, the way in and out of the back is this way. Actually, you can go left if you want to as well. I've just been going right. So come all the way down around here. Watch out for landmines. I'm just saying. So then we come this way, down here. Make sure you shut the gate so the dogs don't get out. Come all the way around here. All right, so this is the inside. I'm gonna pause it for a second while I put my shoe covers on. All right, we're going inside. Cool shoe cover. So, she's had this all remodeled, looks pretty nice. New bathroom over there, laundry moved over there. Kitchen is still over here upstairs, but there's a new kitchen sink line that's been run up on the ceiling. It's that one hung on the hangers. Uh, everything else is pretty normal now. This water heater gotta be moved. So we're gonna have to take the water heater out. It's electric, it's got a uh, uh, expansion tank. The line that's shooting straight up to the roof is right there, right? And so this line comes in. And then you'll notice I put that piece of tape kind of on the wall. There's better light back here, which maybe I can help you with. I don't know if you can see the cut, but you can kind of see where all that extra grit is. That's where the cut in the floor starts. Now the pipe is back underneath this wall, so we're going to have to do some stuff to save it. Because this pipe, this one comes over here and wise and comes around. Uh, so we want to catch it as it comes around and turn it tight. As tight as we can. Even if we can rearrange it a little bit too, it would be even better. But take this water heater out, drain the whole house down. Check camera the floor in here, reroute the pipe outside. Uh, you're going to be without hot water probably a day because i got to get it inspected. Unless you want us to move the hot water heater somewhere. And then from there, you can, we'll send a plumber over and get that estimated up for you. Uh, anyway, so the reroute in here, poured new concrete in here, new clean out outside, new PVC pipe outside. That's how we save the porch.